Praise the Lord, my precious friends. Thomas Manton IV here. I just wanted to tell you again that this is a new season for you, and I feel the Lord is really going to bring you into a massive breakthrough like you've never seen before. It's going to be a time of a, a dawning of a new day and a new season and a new hour like you've not known. So get ready for the superbly supernatural success <laughs> savvy of living because God doesn't want you in a small and obscure kind of life. He wants you in a big magnanimous existence for his glory. And he told Abraham, hey, Abraham, you're a businessman, but I'm going to bless you more so that you can even be a blessing to the world. So let's remember the Kingdom Advancement Program is to win souls around the world, to have people come to Jesus. It's all about that in the end of the day. That's the only thing that can last in eternity. But, you know, God has to raise up a person first. And you can make millions, okay, by the skill and, and the uh, utter immense talent that Almighty God has given you. So whatever's limiting you or keeping you down or keeping you small or keeping you, you know, not, uh, away from the cutting edge of things, of super energy, super advancement, super success. I love the SS thing. Super success, my God. Uh, there's a word called superlative. What does it mean? Let's look it up. Superlative is it's like in a way of speech, you know superlatives and uh my god and you know sass you know sassy and and savvy amen o awakenings of just grandiose living you know some religious people are scared of that some immature in, you know intimidated people are scared of that i don't believe it at all i think we need to break out of every box of limitation <laughs> Woo, I feel the glory of God just falling here. I'm here in one of my offices. Praise God, it's just awesome. You know, the Lord is the Lord is doing so much. He's about to release so much. This is going to be the season and the hour for it. And I'm praying for you that God can make you understand that he wants you to be all that you can be. And Jesus said, redeem the time. Don't let time go by. Patience is not holiness, you know. I have to be saying, I have to wait, I have to wait, I have to suffer. No, you don't. Who told you that? Suffering is part of adversity because the devil and his ugly friends, you know, fear your life. So they devise cutting craftinesses and things against you. But that doesn't mean that that was the God's planned intention. He said his mercies are new every morning. He said the blessing of the Lord makes rich and adds no sorrow. God wants to bless you every single day. He said, I'm the one who I'll smile upon you and I'll cause my face to shine upon you and give you peace. And the prayer of Jabez, remember that in 1 Chronicles 4, 9 and 10 was so powerful. Yeah. He said, Lord, enlarge me, expand me. I mean, I feel the anointing. And Isaiah 54, enlarge me, expand me. You know, Rehoboth, uh, you know, uh, Ebenezer, man, you know, the place, there's a place, the Bethel, there's a place. Abraham was a major landowner. So was Jehoshaphat. So was David. So was Solomon. Very, very wealthy. And these are our, our heroes. They're not um, bad guys. They're guys that we look up to in the faith. But I doubt that most people are modeling their tenacity and their courage and their fearlessness and their faith. Okay, we need to use our faith. So never be afraid. Get rid of all your fears. Pull out all the stops. Get rid of every negative, you know, thing that you have in your mind that, that tells you you're supposed to be small. You're not supposed to be small. You're supposed to be huge and magnanimous. Huge, huge. Donald Trump terminology, right? And then uh, Chicago, you know, my friend says, yeah, it's huge. It's huge. Like Y-U-G-E. I like we, we read it. We respelled it. Praise the Lord. Huge, magnanimous. God has that plan for you. Break out of the box. Break out of limitations. Get rid of all your fears. Cancel them out. Pray and prophesy. 
Stand up and say, I'm not going to be afraid. I'm not going to be intimidated. If someone doesn't like what I'm doing, do it more. Praise the Lord. I said something that, that was so powerful to one of my, uh, one of my uh, apostolic uh, covenant friends. Okay? And we were talking, having a very long conversation. I said, you know what? I, we're going to shoot it out so hot, so magnanimously, so ballistically, so hot, so f full of fire that, you know, it's, it's going to touch everyone uh, in one way or the other. Amen. No apology. Praise the Lord. If you love it, you're going to get in, you're going to get blessed. If you don't, you're going to get hit by it and maybe get whatever you feel, that's your own issue. We need to be out there, out there, out there, out there. Nobody gets rich staying home unless you're on a computer. If you're on a computer by yourself, on, on your, your laptop or your PC, you're doing some interactive things and you're, you're making money that way, fine. But there's something that's powerful. If you're going to be successful, you got to deal with people, all right? If you want to be wealthy, you have to interact in the marketplaces somehow. And you have to get along with people. You have to have people skills. You have to push yourself out of being shy and quiet. And it doesn't mean that you have to shout and be loud about everything. No, but you got to be interacting with a lot of people. People are where it's at, you know, moving, movement with people, blessing people, honoring people, loving people, connecting with people, receiving from people, giving to people, you know, doing transactions and interactions. This is, this is where the rubber hits the road and this is where things get done. There's no business without a transaction with somebody. So you got to figure out now, what is my business? What is my uh, livelihood? What, what is it that God wants me to be embarking upon? With who? Where? You know what I mean? And, and this is going to cause the new thing that you've been waiting to see happen, my friend. And I'm telling you, that day and hour is here right now. That time is here right now. It's not for later. It's for now, now, now. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing God's prophetic voice here? Now, now, now. The set time is for now. It's not for later. Don't keep waiting for something to happen that you, you just don't know how it's going to happen. And, you know, sometimes you need to really be fast on processing things with people because th there's somebody that you thought had an answer, okay? And they weren't the answer. They, they, they weren't going to give you what you wanted from that. You had, oh, you had too high of an expectation of them. Can I tell you, the, or, or something just wasn't right, and it wasn't real, or it wasn't going to happen, it wasn't going to produce for you. The quicker you find that out, the better. The quicker you find that out, the better. The quicker you ascertain and know that, the better. Don't wait till later uh, for everything. Process a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? Wake up early, work till later. Keep your regiments and routines, but, you know, expand it a little bit. You know, start it earlier in the morning. Go a little later at night and process a lot of things in a day. You can multitask. It won't kill you to multitask. It won't. Hard work never hurt anybody. If you're doing the wrong thing, okay, then you're straining yourself, you know, wrongly. But to do certain work uh, that you're supposed to be doing, it actually energizes you. It makes, you, it makes you better. It makes you full, more full of energy, more full of life. You feel more confident. You feel more victory. You feel better about yourself. You feel better about your relationship with God and with people and, and what you're assigned to do and called to do. You feel better about things. You understand? Things begin to just unravel and unfold for you when you're in the realm of being confident and being strong. And being in the, in the center of your expertise and your assignment. Stop letting people put you down. And if someone's like ripping you off, they're wrong and fraudulent. I pray that the Holy Spirit will reveal what it is about them and expose them and ashamed them and break them into pieces. And break them away from you. Because you, you don't need thieves in your life. You know, in your life, dream thieves, real thieves. Opportunity thieves, you know, people that are just in your way. You don't need them. They're detrimental to you. I don't mean you don't need them. I mean you, I mean you need to get rid of them. 
So don't be afraid to, uh, you know, cast some people out. Don't be afraid to do that. Don't be afraid to cancel some relationships. There's some relationships and people that stifle you. You don't, you don't feel good, you know. They don't enhance what you're about. <laughs> in fact, they limit you and hinder you, you know what I mean? And, and these are the kind of people you need to, you know, thrush out. You need to flush them out. You need to get rid of them. Because they're wasting your time. Find people that are on the same page as you. Or, and, and also people that can help propel what God has given you out to the world. You know what I mean? That's the kind of connections you need. And then you need to focus on it, as I said. This is the word of the Lord for this season. You need to focus on it. You need to... Um, <sighs> Be diligent and take aggressive action. And then God's going to take you into the realm of promotion and expansion and even mega expansion. This is the time and the day and the hour for this thing, my friend. It's not going to be long off. It's not going to be far away. It's going to be this month right now that we're in right now. This is week that we're in right now. This very day that we're in right now. This week, before the month end, you're going to see some new things. Before even next week comes, you're going to be already on track with some new development and things like that. And I'm praying and prophesying that God's going to begin to bring the right people to you and you to them. And you're going to see new networks, new people, new friends, new relationships, and encouragers and helpers and people that unlock the grace that God has put in you. People that can really help you go to the, the next level that he wants you to go to. Are you hearing me? This is going to be that day and that hour. This is going to be that season. This is going to be that moment of time where God's going to break you loose from everything that's held you before. And I declare that every devil, every demon, every satanic, um, you know, conspiracy and plan against your life be broken right now in Jesus' name. That God will cause you to expand. I feel the anointing here. I know it's touching you right now. The power of the Holy Ghost. Receive it right now in Jesus' name. I'm your prophet. Yes, I am. I'm your prophet. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm your teacher. Yes, I am. I'm your coach and your counselor and your encourager. Yes, I am. And I'm telling you right now by the spirit of the living God that he's going to cause you to walk into growth and change and development and expansion and promotion and new favor from today in Jesus' name. You're going to see it. My God, I'm getting excited. You're going to see it. You're going to see that advancement. It's not, you're not going to be stuck anymore. You're going to make real success, real progress, real money, real proceeds, advancement, even increases of your revenues and your income. And success in your life, the things that you've been dreaming for, are right in front of you. And today is that day, my friend. Today is that day and hour. Today, today, today. Choose today to rise up and to not be weary and well-doing. Choose today also to persevere through thick and thin. And be a warrior and a champion and a, a gladiator. You know, someone that just keeps on running, just keeps on moving. That doesn't matter what anybody says. Doesn't matter, matter what anybody thinks. Doesn't matter how, whoever's disappointed you or however things didn't maybe go your way in a certain situation. Here's the Nike sign. Just do it. My Nike uh, suits here. Just do it. Just do it. Just be yourself. Be you. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Sunglasses by Prada, <laughs> watch by Breitling, <laughs> suit by Nike, <laughs> Woo! and my sandal shoes I won't show you by A. Testoni, the Italian designer. They're the finest in the world, and I got them in the Middle East, 60% off sale. These were 40% off, and this I got a crazy deal on. I like to, I like to get things on sale. I, I feel good when I save money. You know what I mean? God just gives me that. We find the best deals. Even on the new phones I got, I got two for one. A two for one deal on Black Friday. Imagine that. Praise the Lord. And and God is so good. God is so good. Some of the decor and the things that are here, people don't, people uh, had, had bought, you know. For, for, so so there's a way to live big if you dream and imagine it in your heart. God will bring you the favor. Amen. 
Praise God. The cars I drive, the things I do, I get great deals on everything because of God's favor. I believe in that. I believe in that. I believe in that. I believe in that. The Lord will favor you what you want to have. It's possible for you to have it in this season. Not so far away, my friend. Not a long time off. God wants you to have it now. He doesn't want you to wait forever to, to have the things that you want, whatever that may be, in your fashion, in your vehicles, in your house, in your furniture, in your decor, in your travel. There's ways to do everything if you'll just get on the program in the way that God has ordained and rise up and don't just sit back and wait for nothing. Because when you wait, you're waiting for nothing because nothing's going to come that way. Waiting is not a solution. Severe action is the solution. Did you hear word, the word of the Lord? Focus and action, aggressive action, diligence, amen, is going to bring you into the realm of promotion. Share this video. It'll encourage many people. I'm Thomas Manton IV. I just wanted to come and share this with you right now uh, under the prophetic anointing. God is releasing, my God, he's releasing new things your way, my friend. You're going to see the hand of God in this day and an hour, in this day and hour, to bless you, to bless you, to raise you. Yes, you, not always somebody else. You're going to have the testimony. You're going to have the victory report. You, 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 you. And I feel something right now. The Lord is just telling me something. If you're ailing in your physical body, or you have some oppression going on right now, I break it in Jesus' name. Let the power of the Holy Ghost come upon you right now. Be healed, be healed, be healed. Be delivered in Jesus' name right now. That's it. The power of God is touching you right now. Receive it. Now, rise up in new strength. God's given you also new strength. He said that He said you'll renew your youth like the eagles. Amen. Isaiah 40, 31. Wait upon the Lord. Now, wait upon the Lord means to serve him, talk to him, listen to him, and work with him. It doesn't mean wait, sit back, and do nothing. If you really look up the uh, real meaning of all that, you'll see that's the case. You know, God doesn't just want you to sit down and wait for a day that, you know, maybe will never come. Procrastination is a thief. Fear is a thief. Amen. I saw these uh, pair of sneakers. I was in the mall and I was looking at some sneakers. I left uh, my, my two good sneaker sets that I had, my trainer shoes, whatever you call them. Sneakers, we call them in, 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 in you know, U.S. terminology. And I left them in Africa in my office, in uh, my house in Africa. And uh, I thought, well, I better get another pair because I'm going to the gym and I can't do everything on my sandals, you know what I mean, on my bare feet. I need those things. So I, I found these ones that really look good. And I said, what's the name of that? And they said, Pro Fear. I said, what did you say? It was like they cursed, you know. Pro Fear, I said, spell that like P-R-O and then the other word. And they went F-E-A-R, Pro Fear. I was like, get those things away from me. I would never buy them. I don't care how good they are, how comfortable they are, even if they're on sale. I don't want them, pro fear. What a joke. Who could be so stupid to name something like that? I said, I'm pro faith. And they looked at me like, oh, you know, shocked, you know. I said, you know, what you name a thing is important. Let me say something else about speech. You need to prophesy your own way. You need to preach your own way. You need to proclaim your own way. You need to push yourself out into your own way. Glory to God. What you say will happen. What you decree will be established. What you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. What you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. God's given us a voice and we need to use it. Faith is voice activated. I'll say it again. Faith is voice activated. And God wants to give us the, uh, you know, the victory in many things and many results, but we need to speak them into existence. I saw one man in London, England, who has a great ministry. He's from Africa and he's a, he's a well-known cat. You know, he, he, he he wrote a series of books, okay, uh, an apostle. He wrote a series of books, and he wrote 15,000 confessions, 5,000 each in three volumes. And these are things that you just speak, positive confessions. And I want, and you wonder why he's successful while he's doing well. He's financially well-to-do. He's, he's doing well in his ministry and business endeavors and all that. He's a wealthy man. And I thought, he's been speaking. He's been working this thing. And I was listening to him preach, and I was like, okay, there's a lot of preachers in the world. You know, who's to say who's the best? I mean, I was just listening, you know, because of who the man is, but I was saying, well, you know, the style and all that, you know, you know what I mean. And, uh, but, but the substance, this is what I want to say, the substance 
You know what's more important? I want to say this. What's more important than entertainment and like pizzazz and flair and, you know, style and, uh, well, how could I say, uh, eloquence, excellence in a certain, what's more important than that is substance to me, to God, substance, the essence of substance. If you were just to transcribe what I just said in the last few minutes right here and put it into type print, okay, and then laid it out into point form, you'd have a book right there. This is substantive. It's potent. It's alive. And it produces. You understand what I'm saying? So I, 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 looked, at, I looked at that. And I've been longing to do that. We're going to do a lot of publishing. You're going to hear a lot from, from, from the materials that God's given me. You're going to get a lot out of it. I mean, God's really going to bless your life through things that we're going to produce and put out there on ways to become successful in this life. And of course, eternally for the big picture of the future, which is by advancing the kingdom of God. They both run together. One without the other is not enough. You can't be so spiritually minded that you're no earthly good and you can't be too earthly minded. You know, the scripture says, love not the world or the things of the world. Be looking at the, at the greater thing. But you know what? The things in this world are things to use and enjoy and to enhance life that we could do more to produce the big picture, which is advancing the kingdom of God. And you need to know those secrets. And I'm going to be sharing a lot in the coming days uh, on this, on how to gain true success. What is success? What does it mean? Success is fulfilling the will of God. Prosperity is having enough abundance and supply that you can do the things he wants you to be doing. And God has this plan for you, but you have to rise up. You have to decide. You have to get moving. You have to start marching forward, my friend. It's not for someone else to do for you. You have to do it yourself. And I'm praying that the fire of God, the glory, the power of Almighty God come upon you and touch you and just give you this outpouring and new awakening for the new season that's right here now upon us, that you could rise up and walk and become all that God wants you to be. I'm Thomas Manton IV. I love you so much. See you here next time. God bless you. I'm praying for you. Write me, share this message, invite other people on. The movement is on, my friends. It's happening in Jesus' name. And it's going to be the greatest day to be alive in this next season. It's going to be our greatest hour. And we're going to see the tangible hand of God and his blessings that make rich and add no sorrow and his favor and the people and the networks and the substance and everything that's needed to produce what he wants to be produced. And you and I, we're the producers in Jesus' name. So be it. Talk to you later.